Texas has more scenery. No offense, Cali. <laughs> well, OBS another big thing was I kind of needed a job. I kind of needed a job. Mm-hmm. Also, let's be honest here. Texas has amazing food as well. <laughs> I was just being an ass. I didn't, want to, I didn't know how far to go. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> barbecue is good. Tex-Mex is awesome. Yay. Where is he? What can Where is he? Uh, what the? Wait, what? Hello. Um, did the stream die? Motherfucker, that's twice. Uh oh. All right, I will address the chat. Hold on. Uh, it's the last thing I need right now. Oh, we seem to be back. Tech issues and we back. Yeah, and then it says it disconnected again. Um, not uh, right now. It says you're, yeah, I see you're online. <laughs> I'm watching the stream right now. Still going. <laughs> uh. Mortal, am I broken? <laughs> There we okay, go. But I gave Dog Eye a few more inspirational ideas to draw pictures from, including um, uh, him barking like a dog, saying, I'm a deer, Ark. Bark, bark. Um, another one of him not knowing how to sleep, but because his OC tries to pretend to be mortal and normal, um, it's just him laying down saying, I am sleeping, I am sleeping. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then growing a million eyes. Um, and the last one is he copied some mortal organs to blend in. Then he got the hiccups, but he doesn't know what that is. So it's him on the ground being like, Mortal, am I broken? Yes. <laughs> Ask Bliss, what are things I should do, see, or eat if I visit Texas someday? Depends on where you go. Do you want to go to Dallas? That would be considered the more business military location. You go to Houston, that's more the science, arts, museum type place. You go to Austin, that's the live music capital of the world. And also, it's it's also known for being really artistic. Yes. Um, if you go into Austin, you will be much closer to other cities surrounding them, which are San Antonio... Round Rock, uh, Buda, Kyle, which, bleh, San Marcos, San Antonio, uh, Buda and Kyle are the fastest growing cities in America right now, currently. I don't know if that's changed or not, but so far it is. Um, yeah, basically, it's these are all towns that are quite literally back to back to back. You, you go Austin and you go south, you'll hit... Uh, Buda, you keep going south, you'll hit, you'll hit Kyle. You keep going south, you hit San Marcos. You keep going south, you hit San Antonio. But if you go north, you'll hit Round Rock. Uh, yeah, if you go to, if you go from Austin to the north, you'll, yeah, you'll hit Round Rock. Um, like the only reason why I would go to Round Rock, those to eat their famous Round Rock donuts, because those are probably a big hype. Um, it's your ear. Yeah, my ear oh, itch. Oh no, my hoof's stuck, stuck in my, my ear. ear. Oh, um. Ah, it's stuck. <laughs> what? That means so well you threw him. There giggle. we go. I just giggle and then I'm and then I just like oh, boop you on the muscle. Can't stop me now. <laughs> yeah, my hoof's stuck in my ear. <laughs> oh no. I think I am going to go for now, though. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh. God, I There's... need that. Yay! There you go. 
But yeah, if you want to go into Austin, that is the live music capital of the world. You're bound to find some live music and stuff to see. It is, it is known for being artistic. There's great food around the area. Um, San Antonio, I would call it more like the theme park parts of Texas, like we have Six Flags, we have Texas, SeaWorld, which uh, I honestly don't care about SeaWorld. Um, obviously, the Alamo. Apparently, and I did some, and after watching this on YouTube about Unsolved Mysteries, apparently the most haunted hotel in Texas is actually located in San Antonio. It's called the Meager Hotel. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm told to reset OBS so that way the chat is up to date. Uh, I maybe can't really do that. Yeah, I want to go back to San Antonio for sure because I heard there's a lot of yummy Tex Mexes place. Tex Mex is oh, yum. Absolutely. Like, there's this one place that actually has a food challenge. Obviously, I'm not going to do it, but um, it's like breakfast tacos oh yeah like some no, of the San best Antonio. breakfast tacos around <clears throat> i like me some breakfast tacos yeah. uh, my throat still hurts guys but i am but it's a little less painful that i took some Advil. I could be wrong, but doesn't Austin have the city model keep Austin weird? Yes, it does. That's the, that's the that's the slogan. Keep Austin weird. It's because y'all motherfuckers is weird. <laughs> keep Austin weird. That's what makes us unique. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect it to be a... Fuck. I'm not tired, you're tired. <sighs> okay, so now there's 30. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, secret area. Oh, it looks like it. Um, okay. Ooh, it's another missile. Cool. This man has a sex object. Mod is a woman, but she gets still gets respect. Yeah, crew, you never talk to me that way. Oh god, I wonder if it's because you're a huge disgusting brain. I visited family and that was Texas and mind you. Texas has some great food. Yes, we has we has all the foods. The mm -hmm. one thing we probably don't do so good at, again, depends on where you go. Uh, we're not the best at seafood. That's entirely what debatable. The fuck? Was that already here? Well, again, I said you have to go oh, to wait. specific parts to do it right. You know what I mean? As, as somebody that lives on the coast, saying that Texas is not good at seafood is there we go. paramount to heresy. Uh, okay, well, I don't live anywhere near the coast. I'm in Central, and I can vouch that Central Texas doesn't know jack shit about seafood. What the fuck is this? Okay, so these things can blow up. If you want an example of uh, good seafood, um, let it be. Let me remind everybody that when I made that shrimp scampi, it was ooh. Oh no no. I'm Ew. not gonna argue against that. You you know how to make a good shrimp scampi, sir. Oh, it was so good. It was easily the best. It, it was easily probably one of the best things I ever cooked myself. It was oh, mwah. <laughs> it was magnifique. Mm, magnifique. I know we did red snapper. We we get a lot of red snapper around the area. Mm-hmm. I've never, I've actually never had that. Ooh. Cute. Yes, I got the Varya suit. Awesome. Yay. Now I laugh in the face of hot areas. Ah, so that ex that definitely shows the um what is that the the 
the bulky shoulder pads that Samus has. Like mm -hmm. the, the interesting trivia is that that was the, like that was the first time it was uh, shown in this uh, installment because uh, the designers needed to figure out some way to help differentiate what is the Varya suit or whatnot. Originally, it was supposed to be by color, but this was black and white. Therefore, the only solution, make it bulkier. Oh, wait. It's supposed to go up here. I can sense the OCD coming in. <laughs> All right, so currently a 30. I'd love to go to New Orleans just to have official beignets. Beignet. And some real gumbo and jambalaya. <sighs> Ow. Oh, God. how about a crawfish boil? Oh, that's something that uh, my family knows how to do. Yeah, well, my family doesn't do it. We like wit to to some friends who knew how to do it, but we never done it ourselves, and my mom doesn't like doing it anymore because she doesn't like the idea of ripping off their little heads. <laughs> I think that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat up the head. I mean, I don't like ripping off the heads either, but me, for me, it's more a matter of convenience than a matter of, oh, I don't want to rip its head off. I think what annoys me, but I try to get past it, is that I go through all the effort of peeling and ripping and tearing all only to get a small percentage of meat. Yeah, that's 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 the thing that a lot of that I don't really like about crawdad oils. Is, yeah. is you gotta you gotta go through some effort if you wanna if you wanna eat them. So you probably have to <sighs> eat like a hundred of those before you could say that you had a good a decent sized portion. Uh. The good news is, if you're doing a crawfish boil, there are hundreds of them, easily. Oh, yeah. Is, and we know how to season them, too. Mm. Then they want lean spice. Yum, yum. We, we like to use the New Orleans spices for our fried turkey. Yes, Goldie got the very suit. Varia, Varia, yes, Varia. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, I think, it's, pro like I think it's pronounced Varia. Varia. No, no, no. I'm talking about the username Rahal Rahaniel Rajaniel. Uh oh. Well, I was talking about the suit. My bad. <laughs> yeah, the suit is Varia. Varia. Okay. I need to answer a question. Oh, I'm not tired. Are you sure? Yes. Let's Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm not tired. You're tired. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to go up here. Oh, fudge. Ah, don't die. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I, I, oh, oh, okay, he's okay. Samus doesn't keep his... You mean her. Yeah, well, I can Samus see who, Aris I can see who is not a fucking real gamer. Oof. <laughs> I'm tempted to go just watch that animation from Smash. Which one? There's, what pisses me off of more in this me. world is when enemies get all uptight when they find out I'm a girl. I found out that Samus was a girl when I played uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. 
Because one of my favorite pastimes in the original Smash Brothers was to have somebody play Pikachu, zap characters, and then look at their skeletons. But uh, with Samus, she didn't actually show a skeleton. It just showed a long-haired chick. I was like, huh, okay. That was Neat. a star bomb thing. There you go. Star bomb. There you go. Regret Troid. All right, so... That one, that one... Oh, there's a wave one, too. There. 